Well, we are going to start here. Or I think I'm going to start here. Trying to play. Westbridge Hills from day one. This is going to be a live stream only thing. Well, I think. I think that's what I'm going to I might uh, upload some videos. I don't know. But I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to do it. I don't know how I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to play it and see what happens. So here we go. We're going, I probably should have done this before I started live streaming. But what the heck. We can always um, do it later. Okay. Here we go. Do you want course play? Yes. Um, wow. 1500 $1,500 an hour. 50, do any of you know anybody who makes $1,500 an hour? When you supply the tractors, I mean, if if they were supplying their own tractors, yeah, I could see paying fifteen hundred dollars an hour. I mean, it's a lot of upkeep on a tractor, but they're using my tractors fifteen hundred dollars an hour. But I guess you got to pay them something. I mean, I've worked on a farm. I've been a paid farm hand. I didn't make anywhere near that kind of money. Uh, granted, it was... Oh, man. Man, I hate to pay that kind of money. Okay, granted, it was, it was a long time ago. 1975, maybe? 76? Why does my camera keep blinking at me? Um, okay, so if you're not familiar with any basics, or is it my eyes blinking? You can always start a new game in the drawing home map and participate in the short introductory tour. I think it's my eyes doing that. Okay, so we are all familiar with with um, court or with um, with. Farming simulator. Here we are at the farmhouse. It's a nice little farmhouse. Um, it's not very big. It's a nice little farmhouse. It looks like, well, a lot of the farms that I knew of, this was a rental house that usually the farmhand lived in with his family. They rented the house from the farmer. The farmers had bigger houses than this. Although, I guess maybe not. I guess some farmers had a little house like this. Our house was... Our house was bigger than this, but it wasn't bigger than this. If that makes any sense. It was a big house, but it only had one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. <laughs> well, seven counting the bathroom. Okay, and here's the... Yep. So we need to go over here and um, so we'll see what kind of equipment we've got. We've got the standard rooster or rooster. Okay, we've got the standard equipment here, all lined up and ready to go. Oh, we want to turn the speed down here. We don't want to go five times speed. Let's see. We've got. Uh, let's go to the shop and see what we've got. We've got two Hurleymans. I don't think we really need two Hurleymans. <laughs> but we've got them. And we've got two Agristars. We'll probably want to get rid of those sooner or later. That 
four hundred sixty dollars a day. Yeah, that's. And we've got. We've got one of these. And we've got. Um, Sampo Rajalu C6 the header a tipper a cultivator a planter and two front weights two 700 pound front weights which will be enough for our beginning purposes okay now let's go back and see where they all are. Um, let's see where they all are. All types. We've got, wow, we've got a tractor over here. What tractor's over here? What in the world is a, oh, no. This is the farm. This is the, I don't remember what's there, but I thought, sure, this was the, maybe that's the, there's the combine, there's the 631, 6135A, don't ask me to pronounce some of these names, okay, okay, so, we know where all the, tractors are no we don't really we've got these two here or no we've got we've got both um, what are these called both agristars here we've got both agristars and a hurleyman and there's the combine there's the um, um, what is it Bruhar, Bruhar, something. And there's the other. Oh, it's up here where the sheep go. Why is it up here where the sheep go? Um, I have no sheep, and it wouldn't do me any good if I did because it can't lift a pallet. So. Hmm. Well, first things first. First things first, we have to. Combine the field. Now, we are going to look up the header, unfold everything. Okay. Now, I am going to use GPS. Yes, I am. GPS 4.2 meters is that they're working well if that's a working with it needs to move over it some right about there we don't want to miss any of our crops do it this way because I can't drive straight with the keyboard I just cannot do it don't know why I can't okay now turn it on nope and here we go Here we go, combine in a way. I just, for some reason, <coughs> I can't seem to drive straight. Boy, it looks like I, I, I really need to be, crunch down, can you crush down in here? Nope. 
you can't write it down. This just, um, I mean, yeah, you want to be able to see down there, but you also want to be able to see further ahead of you than that. That's just, and I've noticed that in just about all the tractors, it seems like you're setting way up too high. I mean, you want to be able to see in the distance where you're going. That's how you generally keep in a straight line as you pick something out and you head for it. Well, if you can't see that far ahead, how do you pick something out? Okay, we're almost there. And yes, I could hire somebody to do this for me, but then I would have to pay them. <laughs> I miss those. I did miss those. Now I got him. Okay, now I got him. Yes, I'm trying to conserve money here by doing the driving myself and a lot of small farmers did that they did everything themselves um, they would unless they had kids then they put their kids to work for nothing <laughs> I never got paid for working on the farm I never got an allowance for working on a farm. I never got paid. It was explained to us that that we worked the farm for our rent. <laughs> In lieu of rent, we worked the farm. So we were actually helping pay the rent by working on the farm when we asked about money. <laughs> really, that's what they said. That's what they told me. It's a lot easier to back up a little bit to get that stuff you missed now than to drive all over the field later to pick up that little piece you missed. Yep, I can remember when I was a kid. Well, usually when we were combining my... Uh, My dad would drive the combine and my mom would drive the, the gravity wagon. I, I really wish the game came with gravity wagons, but it doesn't. It comes with tippers. We didn't have tippers. We had gravity. We had a gravity wagon. One, count them, one each wagon. One each wagon. Actually, it was a wagon frame and we had two different beds for it. We had a flat bed for doing hay and straw and had a gravity bed for doing um, harvesting.
you might have realized I have the I have the uh, traffic turned off. But why you ask to have the traffic turned off? Because they kept coming down this dirt road. What this traffic was doing on the dirt road, I have no idea, but they were. But I think maybe later I'll probably increase the size of some of these fields by a little bit by plowing up like we used to do. We didn't have all this grass around our fields. Uh -uh. We had this much land there. We'd ply right up, right up to the trees. Yes, we would. plow right up to the trees, around swamps, around gullies that we couldn't get a tractor crossed. If we could get a tractor crossed it, we went across it. If not, well, we just plowed right up to it. Okay. Now we need to put the pipe out and go get A gravity wagon. Okay, I don't think that Hurleyman is going to be big enough. Well, maybe it will be. Let's see. Let's see if this Hurleyman will be big enough. It probably will be. Okay, now, um, uh, we probably don't need a front weight. Where's the... Oh, there it is. I mean, I'm going to have to get out and get in the... <coughs> it looks like it. I'm going to have to get out and go run around here and get in the combine before it will unload. But that's okay. That's okay. I could set up a course play to follow me. Whoa, why is my screen doing that? But I'm not going to. could hire a, a hired hand but they are they cost money too I don't really need this straw laying there but I forgot to turn it off I can turn it off now I guess it's a combo yeah 
We can turn it off now for now. We'll turn it back on later. We don't have anything to uh, pick it up with, so there's no sense in doing it yet. Okay. What is our what are our finances like? Our finances are not good. We owe a hundred thousand dollars. So we'll have to pay that back. Don't know how much. grain we have to sell. But it's I'm pretty sure it's not enough to pay off a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, this doesn't look very I can't see far very far ahead. That's yeah, that's not very real. I mean you wanna be able to look down and see the cutter head, but you also want to see far way far ahead of you. Look at the animation on the cutter head. That's pretty cool. Do I hear something? I hear something. Nope, wasn't nothing here. Wasn't nothing here. Must have been in a game somewhere. I wonder if anybody is watching me. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'll do that. any back there? Nope. Yeah, the inside view is kind of restrictive. You gonna run me over? You gonna run me over? Wow, that could really mess up your your day. What are we? We're weak. Weeds what we're loading, what we're combining. It a combine because it's a combination of of, uh, of cutter and thresher, so that makes it a combine. Did you know that? I knew that. Oh, there was something else. Uh, 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 something else I wanted to say. I forgot what it was. Something somebody had. Oh, about hamburgers. Somebody wondered, wondered why they were called hamburgers. Well, it came from. Actually, it started in New York. Believe it or not. Yep. There was this guy from Hamburg, Germany. And ham, the people at Hamburg called hamburgers duh, um, used to make their meat by they they would prepare their meat whoops by pounding on it 
sort of like sort of like tenderizing it. And they called it meat in the hamburger style because the people from Hamburg caught hamburgers and they pounded their meat. Well, this guy in this uh, uh, restauranteur from Hamburg in New York decided he needed to do something different because everybody was selling the meat in the hamburger style, but it was all the same pounded steak, you know, pounded beef, pounded pounded um, uh, pork, whatever they pounded, it was meat in the hamburger style. So he decided to grind it up in a sausage grinder. So he ground his meat up. Instead of pounding it with a hammer or with you know meat tenderizer, he ground it up in a sausage grinder, and so that became known in his area of New York as meat in the hamburger style, because he was from Hamburg, so he was a hamburger. So it became known as meat in the hamburger style. And and it just kind of took off from there. The meat in the hamburger style was ground in, ground in a sausage grinder. So whatever kind of meat he had available, he'd grind it in a sausage grinder, and it was meat in the hamburger style. Didn't have to be beef, didn't have to be, you know, of course, of course it would have been better, you know, the leaner the meat, the better it tastes, so, But that's where meat and hamburger style, or hamburger, the, the, the name hamburger came from. Meat and hamburger style, which was originally pounded until some, until an immigrant from Hamburg, Germany in New York decided to grind it up in a sausage grinder. Ooh. Now, you know what? I'm going to hire a hand. Well, I go empty the wagon. Yes, I know. That's, he makes an awful lot of money. But he can't drive the wagon. I have to drive the wagon. I'm not going to pay somebody $1,500 an hour to sit out there and empty this wagon. Just not going to do it. And when I get back, I, mean, I can set up a course play to do it, but for the whole time the course play was running, it cost me.
Now I can go back to running the harvester. Yep, we didn't miss any. Okay, I called it a harvester. I guess we can call it a harvester. Mainly because I'm having trouble staying combined with the stuffy nose. <laughs> get a drink here. Okay. Get it coming up on the end of this road. Managed to do that. <coughs> yeah, so here I am, coughing and hacking, and I'm going to light a cigarette, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to try something here. Um, nope. Okay. I wondered. I thought I. I don't know what a sweet screen, the screen scene switcher does. <coughs> but it didn't switch the scenes. I know it's not as much of a challenge without the traffic. I should put the traffic back in and have them driving interfering with my field work. I think I will put the traffic back in. Can't do it now. I have to stop the game. And stop the game and uh, <coughs> exit the game to go to the main menu to turn the traffic back on. You can't turn it back on in this menu. Normal. Front oh, I'm going to turn that off because I'm not fast enough. Maps, icons, nope. No. No traffic. You have to do the traffic from the main main menu. I thought sure it said this was a six meter head, but it the working width is only four meters. Four point two meters it says. Which looks about right. I mean that's where the arrows the red lines are right there just Inside the, yep, inside the head, so, yep, that's about right. this tractor I might end up if I get a bunch of a bunch of uh, equipment I'll probably have to get one of those uh, easy switcher things 
I mean, you can do it by going into the information menu and... If you know which... <coughs> if you know which um, tractor you need and where it's at. Well, if you know where you need and maybe where it's at. I have to look into those. Okay. go back down another row and you sit here and wait and listen to the radio turn the radio on and listen to the music in the air whoops oops, 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 oops. okay that's time for me to make a little pause here I will be right back in just a second. Okay, turn the header back on, and let's go. Yep, that was the alarm for my evening medicines. It's um, 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> you may have noticed I took my picture off the page. That's because it's kind of annoying. Yeah, have a picture up there. Yeah, I think so. I think it's kind of annoying to have that picture up there. Okay, here we go again. It's only, I think I only had this one field. I think I only own this one field. Yep. This is the only field we own. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. 
for us to buy another field. <coughs> I think I might sell one of the Hurleymans. That'll give me a little bit of money. Sell some of the... I don't have a great demand. Uh, I don't think I have a great demand. Do I have a great demand? Um, nope, no great demands. Okay. No great demands. So, we just have to That didn't look quite right, but it was. It didn't, from that angle, it didn't look like it was lining up right. But it did, pretty much. Yeah, when I tried to drive this with just a keyboard, and without the GPS, I was... My... My... Rose went all over the place. And I'm here, here I'm making, making my hand move in front of the camera. <laughs> like you can see that. I forgot I turned the camera off. I forgot. Did you just see my little dancing at the radio on? Yep. I forget who wrote who did that song. I don't even remember all the words to that song. Man, this is duty music. And here, turn the radio on. Oops, I think I missed a piece. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. After I get all turned around there, it's I end up with my point of view way down here. Started out with up here and ended up with it way down here. Running through the wheat field. <coughs> Running through the wheat field in my BBDs. Okay, no, I didn't I didn't just say that. Have to get those uh that I might get that have to get that um, mod that destroys the crops when you drive over it and makes some crop circles. <laughs> Okay, Richard, don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh. Did we get the field? No, I didn't. Didn't make it this time either. Didn't make it this time either. Ah. I forgot to put the pipe out. Duh. Am I close enough? Ah! 
There I am. Now I'm close enough. Yep, I'm going to go empty this. So I'll back up, hire driver, yep. and take this and empty it. He goes on to the next row. Break. <laughs> yes, I think I'm going to sell one of these Hurleymans because. They don't. I see a uh, nope. And yes, we are driving out across the field. I don't have a plow, so I can't extend this field. If I had a plow, I'd extend this field a little bit. Okay. Take back over. He didn't even get a full row in. He didn't even get a full row in. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to save money by doing it myself. Ah, look, he missed a spot. I'm not going to hire him again. Harold? Harold, the hired hand, is fired. <laughs> but I'll hire him back again the next time I need to empty the wagon. Empty the trailer. The tipper. Okay. They call it a tipper in the game. I call it a trailer. Oops. They call it a tipper, I call it a trailer. <coughs> it's got two wheels, that makes it a trailer. Or it doesn't have a steering axle, that makes it a trailer.
if it had a steering wagon or wheels, it would be, or a steering axle or wheels, it would be a wagon. But it's not. It's got, doesn't have a steering wheel, so that makes it a trailer. At least that's the way we always did them. Have four, if it had a steering axle, it was a trailer. And you pulled it, it was a trailer. If it had, if it didn't have a steering axle and you pulled it, it was a trailer. And we had a, we had a wagon chassis with removable beds, and they were a pain in the butt. You hooked the, because uh, you have to, uh, have to lift the bed up with a, with something. And and block it up. And then pour the uh, pour the chassis out from underneath of it. And then pull the chassis over to another wag another bed. Like we had a flat bed that we used for hay bales and straw bales, and we had a gravity wagon that we used for uh, grain, mostly wheat, oats, soybeans. But well, we didn't get into soybeans later, and corn. Our first, we had a really neat <coughs> corn picker, and that's exactly what it was. It was a corn picker. It didn't shell the corn. The whole, it took the whole cob. The corn, the cob, the whole shoot match. It pulled it right off the stock. It was mounted on an old Alice Chalmers AC, I think it was. I think that's all it was. An Alice Chalmers AC. And I don't think We very rarely took it off. I think I saw it off the tractor twice. Okay. No, wrong way. I think I saw it off the tractor twice. Because it was a pain in the poster. I forgot to put the pipe out again. It was a pain in the posterior to get it that thing because it because you bolted it on, it mounted all around the tractor. I'm serious, it mounted all around the tractor, like a like a uh, I don't know, I don't know, like a uh, I don't know what it was like. <laughs> But it mounted all around the tractor. It was open cab or open. We didn't have any tractors with cabs on them um, when I was growing up. No, those were for really farmers with really big farms. We just had a little farm, 160 acres. That was it. 160 acres, and I'd say at least half of it was pasture. So, uh, we had like one, two, three, I'm counting in my head. And one, two, three, four. Wait a minute, let me count again. You had that one there. That's one. And we had the one next to the truck stop. That's two. We had. To, Two across, three, four, five, six fields. We had six fields, and they weren't really big fields. Uh, maybe 10, 15 acres each, I think. And they weren't really big fields. And uh, oh, sometime when I was in my early teens, um, my dad, and grandpa took out the fence row between two fields made them into one bigger field 
So that made five fields. But they couldn't really do that with the other fields because they really weren't connected to. We had two good sized fields. Probably 10 acres each. Down the road. One was the end of the one was at the end of the uh, end of the pasture, the other the farthest farther farthest away from the pasture, and the other one was was across the state highway from it. Right next to the country club. The country club. <laughs> My grandpa grandparents had a truck stop right across from the country club. And they used to uh, we used to pick up the golf balls that they would hit into our fields from the country club. We'd pick them up and Grandpa would clean them up and sell them back to him. <laughs> he would never want to miss the trick, I guess. You see, he didn't think so. So when we was out plowing or disking or, or, or combining or cutting hay, one of the things you did was watch the ground for golf balls. If you saw a golf ball, you picked it up. It was in decent shape. Grandpa cleaned it up and sold it back to him. If it wasn't, well, we just, we had an old set of golf clubs and we'd pound them out into the pasture from the backyard. Just, you know, for yeah. Just something to do, I guess. We were kids and didn't know any better. Kids and didn't know any better. And I learned to play basketball in the haymow. Yes, that's right. You heard me. We played basketball in the haymow. And when the. Between the time that it was. Um, when the one end of the hay haymow got empty, that had put up a basketball net, a basketball hoop, didn't have a net. Didn't have a net on, just a hoop. And that's where we play basketball. Didn't have any place outside to play basketball. I mean, I guess we could have played it in the driveway, but the driveway was gravel. And if, have you ever tried to dribble on gravel? <laughs> <coughs> the basketball tends to go wherever which way it wants to go. It most certainly does. So, yeah, we played basketball in the hay now. And we... It was, we had an old barn. We had an old barn. It was, had the had the rail in the center of the in the center of the barn up in the haymow, with two big doors at the end at the top that op that dropped down, and there was a claw. Is when hay was harvested loose before they had balers, and they pull that pull that trolley down that rail with a rope down on the floor. And then another rope would lower the lower the claw down, and it grab a bunch of hay in the claw, and they'd have to haul it up by hand, and uh, and then trip it and dump it in the in the haymow. That's how they used to do it before balers. Our very first, the very first baler I remember us having was a round baler before round balers became the thing. Why they didn't make the great big huge round bales. No, they made little round bales that were about, oh, they were maybe three feet long and about two feet in diameter. And of course, you can't, what are you going to do with them? You can't stack them. No, maybe they're four feet long. Maybe about four feet. 
Yeah, maybe about four feet long and two feet in diameter. They were a lot longer than they were big around. And I mean, you could stack them like logs, but you know that did that wasn't very. Uh, what's the word? Wasn't very efficient way of efficient use of space. And there we are, full again. Put, put it out that time. So, yeah, we didn't, we, so then we got the, the um, a motorized baler. Now, now, don't be thinking it was self-propelled because it was not, <laughs> not even close. But it was motorized, had its own motor, wow, 90 Eight percent. Had its own motor, but um, had its own motor but um, it just ran the baler and uh, it was temperamental hard to start but it made square bales which were easy to easy to stack Another wagon load of trailer load of. I wish this game came with gravity wagons. They are, I, I like them, but they're hard to steer. They're hard to back up. They are anything with steering. With a steering axle, it's hard to back up. I. Don't care what anybody says, they're hard to back up. A trailer is much easier to back up. I mean, it's even easier. It, it's just hard. <laughs> I mean, when you get a, a semi-trailer and, and use a dolly on it with a tractor, it's almost a, it's the same thing as trying to back up a, uh, a, uh, trailer with a with a solid axle mounted on a swivel point um, those are hard to back up a uh, a wagon with uh, what you call it uh, wagon with tie rod steering is easier to back up in my opinion I mean I've, I've backed up both and and although the, the ones with the pivot plate will has a shorter turning radius because you can you can turn the wheels almost backwards <coughs> the uh, they're they're unpredictable, I think. I just I can predict back where ones with steering axles with the tie rod steering were going to go when I backed them up. I could not predict where one with the 
solid axle pivot point was going to go. I never could get to hang and backing them up. I still can't back them up on the game. Um, they are just beyond my capabilities, I guess. I don't know. I just can't seem to do it. Semi-trailers, no problem. Um, what you call it? Tipper trailers. Well, if they're uh, a trailer and not a uh, not a wagon, not a problem. I can back them up. Anything that doesn't have. Uh, steering on the front, not a problem to back up. I don't think I've seen any in any of the games that have, uh, that have tie rod steering. I think they all have they all have pivot point steering, which man, that is really, really rough. And it has taken me over an hour to harvest this field. Then I'm going to take a break. And when I come back the next time, we will call it a debate. Call of eight. Call of eight. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's. I'm not sure where that song came from. <laughs> da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Don't know where that music came from. Let's harvest our crops and I don't know. I can't think of anything. I'm not as good as I used to be at that. We used to set out the kids when the when we'd all get together in the summertime after bailing. After getting cleaned up, we'd set out on the tractor and uh on the weekends actually is when we usually get together and after the bailing was done and we'd sit, all our cousins would set out on the tractor they'd give me a subject and I'd make up a song some of them got to be really 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 long to 10-15 minutes and they didn't make sense they were stupid and they were silly and they were but hey you give me a subject and I made up a song I did that for quite a few years uh, elsewhere too, but I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it. Just can't, 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 can't do it. Almost 90. We'll get to the end of the field. Ha! We'll stop there. We'll get to, to bring it up and fill it up. I think we might get the rest of this done in one more hopper load. think we just might get this done in one more hopper load. Whoops. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You stop making noise now, Richard. Ah!
That's why I changed that button on your truck simulator. Your truck simulator 2, I changed the ended start button from E to backslash because I kept. I would hit the W button and, I, or I, well, I thought I was hitting the W button, but I hit the E button and I'd be out in the middle of the Audubon or motorway or whatever it was and it shut the engine off right in the middle right in the middle of cruising 80 K's and I shut the, shut the engine off like ah! I did not mean to do that I did not mean to do that So there I was, in the middle of the, in the middle of the Audubon, with a dead truck. <laughs> I'm almost done with this field. Okay, we're almost done with this field. One more pass should do it. And then we'll call this an episode. We'll call this episode one of my live streaming West Bridge Hills Farming Simulator 15 as I try to get myself out of debt by hiring very few workers. Yep. You heard me right. I'm going to try to not hire very many workers. That means I can't cultivate and plant at the same time. I don't think I need this many tractors, so I'm probably going to sell a couple of them at least. Or one of them at least. Yep, I want to sell one of them at least. I want to sell one of the Hurleymans. Hillermans? Hurley. I want to sell one of them. I don't need two of them. One of them is enough. So I want to sell one of them. And I might buy a... Uh, Fertilizer spreader with that, with the money from that, that I get from that. Because I've only got one field, so I've got to start small. I like to sell one of the, the um, AgroStars. Is that $480 a day maintenance? And yes, I am playing in dollars. I'm from the United States, and this is supposedly a United States map, so yes, I'm playing in dollars. And I just, and I think I might just, um, I think I might turn the cars on when I come back to it, if I remember to. If I remember to, okay. 
put the pipe out. Let's go pick up our Wow, it's going to empty it automatically. How did it do that? <coughs> Seems like sometimes it does it and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. I'm going to get it all in here. Okay, let's go dump this. Go dump this and see what I've got in the way of saleable products. We are empty now. Okay, I've got wheat. I got a little bit, a little bit more than eight thousand. Liters, tons, I don't know. See, this is this is in tons. The selling price is in tons, but the storage price is in per ton. Okay, so it's 1,000 liters per ton, isn't it? Or is it 2,000? I don't know. I don't know how many. But, wow, these are wood chips. I can sell, I can sell all my wood chips, but I don't have a... I don't have a front loader to load them. Um, my canola, the diner's selling it. Oh, the flour mill is better. Flour mill is the best place to sell the canola right now. I might just have to do that next episode. Just might do that next episode. Let's bring this on around. 2D. To the farmyard. Okay, well, here we are at the farmyard. And why don't you park him in seven inch? Well, I could, but why bother? If I leave him out here and it rains, they'll get cleaned off. Is it supposed to rain? Ah, well, it's Saturday, and today is Monday. It's supposed to rain on Saturday. So maybe it'll, maybe it'll clean me off. Vehicle running costs. Total. Wow. Okay. Yep. We're not doing good. We're going to have to. We're going to have to sell some things off here. I think I'll take that other Hurleyman. Let's see. 135, 140. I think I'll sell this and one of the Hurleymans. Um, yeah, I think I'll... Yep, what this, what this and one of the Hurleymans.
think I'm going to sell those. I'll think about it. If anybody watches this and has a suggestion about what to sell, I'll listen. I'm going to get. I'm going to get this when I have enough money. <coughs> So I can increase my yield. Yes, this is not going to be. This is probably not going to be very easy. Because <laughs> I only have the one field. Field 16. Yeah. Think of planet in canola. No. Barley, I think. I think barley gets more. Yeah, barley gets more than wheat. And even though canola gets more per ton, it doesn't have as high a yield. So, yeah, I think I'll plant it in barley. That's what I want to do. I want to plant it in barley. Push the wrong button. And, yeah, I want to plant my, that field in barley. And, what to do while it's growing. Hum, 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 hum. I guess I could. Let's see, where's the I'm going down? There. Oh yeah, we could go down there and push a couple of trees into the. Cut down a couple of trees and push them into the into the lumber yard. get some money I don't know I just don't know we'll just have to wait and see okay well that's going to be it for this time and almost an hour and 30 minutes to, well I guess I, I was talking at the beginning and I see this 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 building over here would be nice if the doors open doors open? No, of course the doors don't open. But it might be nice if the doors open. I hear a rooster, but I don't. Oh, there he is. There's a the rooster. Ah, come here, you rooster. Yep. 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 Okay. This is this would be a nice barn too if the doors open. Why didn't they make these doors open? I mean, I the mods mods that have working doors. And the regular game have working doors. This the one, or is it over here? I think it's this one over here. That oh, there, it's that barn there that sells to the straw. But I don't have a. You know, that's what I could have done. I should have done all that, and then I could have bought um, this. Nope, I don't have any. Could have borrowed enough money to buy this. I could have borrowed enough money to buy this, and then I could have picked up all that straw and and sold it. sold it here not it's not much but it's something I mean you got the you got the straw anyway if you're harvesting the yeah I might have to do that next time I have to do that next time I have to think I have to think about what I'm going to sell what I'm going to 
what I'm going to buy, whether I'm going to borrow money or not. There's really no trees down at the um, down in the lumberyard area, so I mean, there's really no harvestable trees down there. You'd have to get all the trees from somewhere else. Maybe buy them. You know, that's something you would have to know. Yeah, we're going to have to. This is going to be. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got one field. I'm going to have to sell off some. Some of my. Grain. To get. The sell off some of my grain to get enough money and, and maybe one tractor. I think I can do with just these two Lutzfars and uh, Hurleyman. I think I can make do with those. So get rid of the one Hurleyman and the Bruhar, whatever. I don't, 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 don't. Um, complain about my pronunciation of names. I got two problems. One, I can't pronounce them very good to begin with. And two, I've got a really stuffy nose for some reason tonight. So that was this. And I'll probably be back again. I'll probably, next time I can't sleep, I'll do another live stream and see who is. And uh, try to figure out what I'm doing. Because I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. That's it for now. And. I will talk to you in the next. Well, let's call them episodes. <laughs> they're long. They're live. They're long and they're live. <laughs> Yep, they're long and they're live. An hour and a half. That's how long I've been live on this, with this episode. is an hour and a half. So this is Westbridge Hills. Farming Simulator 15. Um, I've got a few mods. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Did I? I don't think I installed it. I don't think I installed the rental mod. I downloaded it but I didn't install it to have any other to have any nope I'm, I didn't don't have anything in there either okay well yep that's it for now and y'all have a good night or a good day whichever part of the whatever time it is in your part of the world and we will see you later. Oh, as you noticed, I got my high-speed internet now. Well, it's high-speed to me. Uh, five meg uploads. I am uh, live streaming at 30 FPS and no drop frames. No drop frames. How about that? That's that's awesome. I can't wait to get my, my G27 and start doing some you're a truck simulator. It's going to be boring to watch. <laughs> <coughs> I just might put a live stream up while I'm trying to get it. Trying to get it um, adjusted. Both in 
for Farming Simulator and for any other games I use it for. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator and uh, once I get it I might get some more driving simulators. I like driving simulator games because I can't drive anymore. Well, I can, but I'm afraid to uh, because I don't have very good muscle control. And it's one thing to wreck a computer-generated car or truck. It's something totally different to wreck a real one. <laughs> I don't mind wrecking a computer-generated car or truck too much. Um, I don't like it, but I don't mind it. I can live with it. I would hate myself if I wrecked a real car or truck. So I don't drive much anymore, only when I absolutely have to. And uh, that's pretty much never <laughs> because I don't trust myself to drive. I mean, I still pass the drive, I can still pass the driving test and everything. I just don't trust. Just don't trust my uh, my um, oh what you call it my my muscles yeah muscles yeah I control muscle movements and uh, when you're in a game that's that's you know it's no big deal I mean, so you die you know or you wreck I don't play shoot them up games anymore because they frustrate the heck out of me because I can't my fingers don't do what my finger, what my brain tells them to do so I end up dying way too much hey I can climb up one here I thought somebody had a mod that you could open this well not this one not this particular one but but another um, Pottinger, Pottinger, and uh, yep, that's it. That's it for now. Show's over, folks. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along, move along, move along. Okay, y'all have a good one, and I'll talk to you the next time I stream. I want to say bye for now, but everybody says bye for now. I want to say, you know, see you later. Auf Wiedersehen. Das Um, Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> see you the next time.